Today's video is brought to you by our friends at Shipmate app and CruiseLine.com. Shipmate app just rolled out a new feature where you can write a comprehensive review about all aspects of your cruise directly in the app. Just launch the app, click My Cruises, select your sailing, and start your review. Hey cruisers, welcome to our Cruising on a Budget series. One of the reasons we fell in love with cruise travel is because of the value it offers. After 15 years of chasing deals and following pricing trends, we have a handy list of tips and tactics you can apply when you are looking to book a cruise. First up, this is an easy one to dismiss, but don't because it can really add up to some significant savings. Consider using a travel credit card that offers cash back or enhanced perks for travel expenditures. We'll list a few of our favorites down below, but you'll need to investigate a bit more to see what card is right for you. We chose the Chase Sapphire Reserve card. It comes with a hefty annual fee, but it offers big yearly travel credit, free global entry registration, airport lounge access, yes, and solid travel rewards. Plus you get three times the points on travel and dining purchases. The best part is when you sign up for the card, you get a huge miles bonus once you hit a certain spend. We got a 60,000 mile bonus within a few short months, and that covered a flight from California to Florida for the three of us. The value of that was about $900, about a third of the cost of our cruise. So as you can see, the perks can add up fast. Many of the major cruise lines offer their own co-branded credit cards that let you earn rewards as well. Definitely check those out, but at present, we find them less enticing. Our next tip is to use a travel agent. Why, you ask? Well, we could go on all day about this, but when it comes to saving money, your travel agent may have access to deals and onboard perks that you don't. While this isn't always the case, some agencies have special arrangements with the cruise lines because they reserve rooms in bulk. While every agency operates differently, the time and energy you'll save working with a good agent is priceless. They can even help you with choosing the right travel insurance too by determining if you'll get a better deal and better coverage through the cruise line or a third party. Now the key reason we work with a travel agent to book our cruises is because they almost always have more knowledge and big picture wisdom than we do. And that is a huge value add for us. Bottom line, a good agent saves you time and time is money, right? You can check out the travel agency we've partnered with in the description below. Our next bit of advice is to book your cruise early, but continue to watch for price drops. If the price of a cruise changes, you can usually change your booking to take advantage of the new pricing. Unlike airfare, most cruise fares are cancelable and changeable <laughs> until final payment is due. So keep a watchful eye on those prices and available perks and contact your travel agent if you see a dip. A good travel agent will also be watching for price drops for you too. Just saying. This next point may seem a little contradictory to what we've just shared, but you may also want to consider last minute cruises if you have the ability to pick up and go on short notice. Cruise lines wanna sell those cabins and last minute deals still are a thing if you have the patience and flexibility. You can also find serious deals on repositioning and transatlantic cruises if you're into those unique itineraries. This next tip may seem simple, but booking an inside, guarantee, or obstructed view cabin can typically save you some big dough. If you're flexible, you can save hundreds, even thousands on a cruise. So if you're willing to sacrifice that balcony or suite and a view, start here, friends. This next strategy is our personal fave. Booking off-season cruises can be an excellent way to snag a killer deal on a cruise. Here's what we mean by off-season. For warm weather destinations like the Caribbean, early fall after the kids return to school, also known as hurricane season, and the weeks between Thanksgiving and mid-December, and sometimes even certain weeks in February with the exception of Valentine's Day and President's Day can be much less expensive. The month of May in Alaska offers amazing deals. 
Late season in Alaska, which is usually late August or September, can be great too. But we like the drier weather and lighter crowds much better in May in Alaska. All right, now let's talk about wave season. You've heard of wave season, right? Think of wave season as the Black Friday of cruise deals only it lasts much longer. Wave season is a three month period from about January 1st to March 31st every year when cruise lines and travel agents book a seriously large number of cruise cabins. Why? Quite possibly because it's the dead of winter and people are itching to get some palm trees and shady beaches back into their life. But it's a thing guys, and we book a cruise pretty much every year during wave season. There are real deals to be had, and this is your chance to take advantage of early booking specials, upgrades, onboard credits, and other perks. Trust me on this one. Now we have a few bonus tips for you. First, most major lines have some kind of loyalty club. These are almost always worth joining. The rewards and discounts can be kind of slow coming, but you'll be glad when they do. Now here's another good one. Once you're on board, see if your ship has a future cruise desk. Booking your next cruise on board usually comes with some perks like onboard credit. We do this with Princess Cruises a lot. Speaking of saving money on board, we have a whole video coming soon dedicated to that topic. So come back soon or just hit the subscribe button. Oh, and one last booking tip for you. If you're traveling with a group, know that groups of 16 or more can sometimes qualify for discounts and perks, maybe even a free cabin. So round up some cruising buddies, talk to your travel agent, and save some money. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Before you go, we have a question for you. How have you saved money on your cruise booking process? Let us know, and until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.